Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing some tips on how you can get A plus for modern mathematics in SPM. Um, I'll just be talking about some general things that you really need to remember when you're taking your maths paper and I hope that this video will be useful to you. Let's proceed with today's video. The first tip that I have for you is to read the question carefully. Always read the question carefully and like if it's a long question then make sure that you read till the end because I have had my own personal experience where at the end there's like calculate x and I did the first part of the question but not that one sentence calculate x and I kind of lost two marks because of that so definitely try to read the entire question and also look for some keywords like if they say state then just state um, no explanations are needed if they write calculate then you have to show the full working for that question then for graphs we have sketch and plotting graphs so if you are asked to sketch a graph then you're only supposed to show the general shape of the graph without pinpointing every single point but if you're asked to plot a graph then you have to make sure that you get all the plots right all the points should be correct so that's the difference between sketch and plotting the graph but for either one, you have to remember to write, um, label the axis. That's really important. Number two, always show your working and check your answers. So it is important to show every single working for any math exam at all. It is so important to show every single working that you have. And also always recheck your answers, definitely. And round your answers to the significant figures that you are given. Um, you have to know the difference between decimal places and significant figures. Those are different. I hope that you know the difference. And, and as for hashtags, some of you guys have actually asked me if um, you're supposed to put hashtag for your final answer. And for me, I personally don't put hashtags. And the reason is because my maths teacher once told me that if you put a hashtag for a final answer, if it's wrong, then um, it is wrong but if you don't put hashtag then if the examiner sees the correct answer somewhere they can still award you marks for it if you put hashtag at your final answer then you're indicating that other answers are wrong so even if the examiner detects the right answer they couldn't give you marks for that so avoid putting hashtag and then the third thing to remember is to always make your working neat and if you are using like if it's not continuous if you're continuing your working on the other side of the paper then make sure that you draw an arrow to indicate it so that the examiner don't have to go around looking for that make sure that it's neat and if you have any wrong working then cancel out and if you don't know any question just try to answer it as well just don't leave any question blank it could be an incomplete answer but your workings might get you marks so definitely try to attempt all questions next i'll be talking about graph so to get full marks for graph you need to take note of a few things and those are the axes the label units title um the shape of the graph and also how much space your graph is taking up so sometimes um, marks are not given for titles but just write it anyway and then for axis you will have the x-axis and the y-axis you have to label those axes along with their units if you just label without units you lose one mark so it's one marks for unit one marks for labeling and then write the zero at the side um, at the side where the two axes cross and then make sure that each and every point is plotted correctly on your graph and also that the shape of your graph is nice so when you're drawing a graph especially if it's a curved graph make sure that um, you go through it once it's a single line and not like several branching out you know when we're drawing we tend to um, do several lines for each thing like the examiners hate it when it comes to graph so make sure that you draw confidently and then turn the paper if you have to if it's an s-shaped graph and you're comfortable drawing it upside down then turn the paper and just draw it make sure that it's smooth and then if it's not then just erase it and then redraw it until it is smooth a smooth curve is one of the criteria to get that one mark for a shape of the graph as well so 
make sure that you do practice on that and there is also this thing called the bendable ruler where you can bend it and like form the shape and draw so if you have that then you can use that and then the next very important tip for maths is to avoid careless mistakes so if you know how to do the question then make sure that you do it right always go through the questions again once you have done it go and redo every single question again if it's paper 2 then scribble with pencil at the side or on any like paper that you have um retry every working and make sure that you get the exact same answer like even when you're copying your answer from your calculator make sure that it's exactly the same you don't want to make mistakes there really um, recheck every single mistake because you can't afford to lose those marks and then the last thing to remember for maths exam is of course to bring the stuff that you need um you need your calculator bendable ruler if you use that and then you need a compass you need a protractor everything that you need make sure that you pack it oh and don't forget long ruler as well if you need to draw a straight line remember to bring long ruler so before your math exam really check that all those things are there especially your calculator make sure that it's functioning if you have a spare calculator bring a spare calculator as well the calculator is so important so make sure that all those things are there on the night before your exam check and then on the day of your exam check again make sure that you do bring in those things to avoid unnecessary panic so those are all the tips that i have for modern mathematics and if you want some more detailed tips then i have already done that video um it's called how to get a plus for modern mathematics in SPM, and i'll leave a link in the description box below so that you can go and watch that if you want to but when it comes to math practice makes perfect and always just try not to be careless that is most important bring in all your writing materials try not to be careless and then just like do your best i wish you all the best for your ongoing spm examination and that's all for today's video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video